These are some of the most popular compressors, and all of them have something in common. The pressure gouge is at the end of the hose connected to the char valve, and considering that we need to stop the compressor in order to get a reliable reading, the inflating process becomes something like this. We are going to install this module in our compressor in order to control it remotely. We have chosen a very capable 300 liters twin piston compressor adequate for our big off-road charge. The needed material is the remote control module, a three position switch of one and two, and some black and red cable. Apart from that, some basic tools. The first thing is with a Phillips screwdriver to remove these two screws. Now we remove these four screws. Here is the circuit board with two relays. This is the cable from the clamps. This is negative and this is positive. Negative goes via the relays, this cable into the motor. Positive comes from this way and is permanently connected and goes to the, to the motor as well. This connected always, as you can see in here, they are both interconnected. So the relays, the switch is controlling the negative. This looks like a good time to explain how the project works. This is a representation of the three positions of the switch. Position off, position one, and position two. When in off position, the positive, it is connected to the compressor. The negative goes to the relay, but doesn't go through, doesn't cross to the compressor. Position one, Again, the positive is connected, the negative reaches the relay. Also, the positive goes through the switch into the relay, closes the circuit, and the negative reaches the compressor, so it does start. Position 2, positive connected, negative reaches the relay, and positive goes via the switch to the remote control module, and with the remote control, you can command the relay to close, Negative goes through, compressor starts. You will have a link in the description to download this document if so you desire. Our goal is uh, the remote control to control the relays. The switch will have three positions off, position one and position two. Position one, let's say position one is gonna control directly the relays, the same, the same thing that this switch is doing until now and in position 2 we'll activate the remote control module and via that module we will activate the relays so it will energize the, the motor now that we know that the positive to the switch comes this way through the board and in here and when you close the original switch you close this you connect these two points and then you connect the your uh, power the relays we have two options we can either weld together these two, so this circuit will be always closed, pull this plug from here, and this plug it into the switch. 
into the new switch and then with another cable come back in here once we close in here the circuit it will powerize the relays the other option is to use the cable from the, the original switch that is connected in here and from there we connect those cables into the new switch so we will be connecting uh, energizing the relays from the new switch instead of the old one let's wire the remote control module here you have a wiring diagram but you can also use the following pictures Now locate a point in the circuit from which to obtain the negative and solder the black wire. The new switch will control the access of the positive into the circuit board from the entry of the positive and uh, so the old switch that was interconnecting these two dots is not needed anymore um, we will control the entry of the positive from the outside of the circuit coming this way and this should be close to reach the relays so we have three options here we can just solder them together these two dots we can connect the clip from the old switch from the back cut the wires and uh, interconnect them to close the circuit or what I chose to do is I just reconnect the old switch and leave the switch in the on position the old switch in the on position and I will use only the new one in order to start the compressor we reconnect the switch wire to the circuit and leave the switch in the on position Let's review the wiring a little bit. This is the positive from the clamp going to the uh, switch. And then from one position we'll go this way, the positive to the uh, circuit board to energize the relays. The other option is going this way into the remote control module and from the remote control module back to the circuit board again to activate the relays. So we are now going to program the remote control. This is the uh, program button. Just press once. You press this button in this case. It's program. Now this is press and hold for the comp uh, compressor to run. Now we are going to program this one for on off. One switch is on. So one click is on next click we'll switch it off we press here two times and press the button okay now it's, it's program now that we are done with the wiring and the remote control is already programmed we just need to fit the new, the new switch into the compressor and put it back together.